Hello everybody, welcome back to this new episode of Textile with Alberto. Today we're going to talk about twisting. Have you ever wondered guys how discontinuous fibers such as cotton, wool or hemp are stick together into a yarn? Through our glue, through our silicone? I don't think so. It's all mechanical and it's called twisting. Let's see that together. Twisting is a mechanical process that is performed on fiber or yarn to obtain a single strand and it's normally performed to obtain a stronger yarn. And it's basically a rotation that binds all the yarns and fibers together. It can be performed on discontinuous and continuous fibers. Continuous fibers yarns, also known as monofilament yarns, are for example silk, polyester and all synthetic fibers that never ends basically. On the other hand we have discontinuous fibers such as cotton, wool, hemp and all natural fibers except for silk of course. This is not always true, I mean sometimes also polyester can be discontinuous. For example if you spin polyester and then cut the polyester and then twist the polyester together you obtain a cotton-like polyester and it's performed for example if you have to combine the polyester performances with cotton. For discontinuous fibers or staple fibers it's uh, mandatory guys, of course. And since the staple fibers are 1mm or 7mm long, you need to twist the fibers together to obtain one single yarn. I have for example a cotton yarn over here and yeah, if I take this yarn, as you can see it has three plies, I mean there are three yarns twisted together. If I rotate in the opposite direction the fiber comes out, as you can see. This is because cotton is a discontinuous fiber and twisting is mandatory to twist and have one single yarn of cotton, of course. It's not performed just on discontinuous fibers, guys. It's performed also on continuous fibers, normally for two different reasons. The first one, to give some special visual effects on your yarn, for example, melange and mouline yarns are combined by two yarns of the same composition but of different colors and it's performed to give special properties. For example, if you combine one yarn of cotton with a yarn of polyamide, you combine the freshness of the cotton and the performances of polyamide. You have to take into account that twisting is always mandatory, for example, for recycled materials, such as polyester, wool and so on, because it's always combined with some acrylic or polyester to give better strength to the yarn. Twisting is performed by a twisting machine that twists the yarn or the fibers together. Then there is also the yarn twist tester, which is a machine that you can use to count how many twists does the yarn have. It opens the yarn until the yarn is straight and you can separate the plies. You can have 500, 100, 1 million twists depending on, on what you have to obtain. The twisting can be S or Z direction. Normally if you use a Z twisted yarn you combine with a S twisted yarn in order to avoid the final fabric to rotate on itself. The more twist, the more stable the yarn is, but twisting is very dangerous, guys. If you exceed, the fabric starts rotating on itself, and that's why yarns meant for knitting are less twist, to avoid this problem. It's very much important that after twisting, if you want to pin the twists, you actually need steaming. Steaming can be performed on yarn cone to pin the rotation of the yarn. If you don't do this, you most likely will lose the yarn and the yarn will open itself. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below if you have any doubt or any questions of course. In the next video we will see together through the linen tester how to separate the yarns of the different cones that I have here in order to see the different performances and why the yarns have been twisted together. We will see some viscose, some cotton, some mouline yarns and also some polyamide with elastan. That's all for today, so yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.